Virginia University for today's men's soccer match, featuring the Methodist University Monarchs and your Southern Virginia University Knights. President Wilcox and the Southern Virginia University staff, thank you for your support of the student athletes and coaches participating in today's contest. The NCAA and USA South Athletic Conference promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial comments, or intimidating actions directed at coaches, players, officials, or any other team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. Also, the consumption or possession of alcoholic beverages and tobacco use is strictly prohibited. Please stay away from the playing area and team bench areas. Thank you for your cooperation and go Knights! In accordance with tradition at Southern Virginia University, we will begin with a word of prayer, which will be offered by Brooklyn Larson. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Please bless that we will have a good night tonight and that the boys will be able to play safe and strong. Please bless that we will all be respectful and kind to each other, and we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And now for your starting lineups. <laughs> starting tonight for the Monarchs. At mid, number two, Charlie Tichi. At mid, number five, Christopher Schaffler. At mid, number six, Ryan Rivera. At forward, number seven, Hudson Zeisman. At forward, number nine, Sean Laney. At mid, number 10, Matthew Manzano. At forward, number 11, Casey Atwell. At defender, number 17, Daniel Morgan. At defender, number 27, Caleb Thomas. At defender, number 30, Miller Davis. And in goal for the Monarchs, number 34, Matthew Walker. The Monarchs are coached by Justin Terranova, Evan Burgos, and Kenny Perkinson. And now starting for your Knights. At mid, number two, Dallin Miller. At defender, four, at defender number four, Justice Mack. At forward, number 11, James Allen. At mid, number 12, Colton Noman. At forward, number 13, Tanner Gonder. At mid, number 16, Callum Ewell. At defender, number 24, Samuel Jagai. At mid, number 28, Mitchell Cutter. At defender, number 30, Josh Dubinsky. At defender, number 32, Luke Hemingway. And in goal for the Knights, number double zero, Sean Gutzman. The Knights are coached by head coach Peyton Pemberton and are assisted by Jay Zachariah and Jeff Tomlin. Now if you will all please rise and face the flag for the playing of our nation's national anthem. Thank you, and good luck to both sides. What do you say? We're live. No. Hello, soccer fans. Welcome to Southern Virginia University in Buena Vista. My name is Rock Giles, here with my colleague Eric Hansen. And today we will be watching the matchup between the Southern Virginia Knights and the Methodist University Monarchs. 
the last time these two teams played each other. The game ended with SVU taking the win in a 1-0 score. So it was a good head-to-head -head matchup. This, this year, we have a lot more freshmen on Southern Virginia, so completely different team out there. I think Methodist University actually has a graduate student. They have some seniors, a lot of juniors. Uh, so this will definitely be an interesting matchup. Yeah, it's an exciting one. I, the, the Knights are young. They're talented. They've got a lot of upside. It's been a roller coaster of a season so far, still looking for their first win. But coming off of a, a late game thriller last game where they tied it up late, so uh, looking to increase or at least build and, and create some momentum against a team that they've had some success against in the past. But uh, I think they've got quite the challenge in front of them today with this good Methodist University team. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think both teams are actually coming off of a loss, so they're both looking to stop that negative momentum, get something really started here this season. Well, we can only s we we we'll certainly see how that plays out today in the game. I talked a little bit to Coach Pemberton this week, and uh, thank goodness we've got a few players coming who've just come back from injury. Like Captain Caleb Yule is finally coming back. He's he's been able to work his way back. He scored a couple penalty kicks in the last couple of games. Ammon Lewis has been cleared to play today. He'll have some limited minutes, but um, he's a lift for the whole team. So we'll be glad to see him. Uh, it sounds like Coach Pemberton definitely has a game plan. There's some high scoring offensive weapons on that Methodist University side that the Knights are going to have to be ready to, to face and we'll see what their, how their game plan plays out. Absolutely and we're going to take it down to the field for kickoff. And we're started. We're on our way. Here we go. Southern Virginia takes the ball up the sidelines, goes up field. Have a little trouble there and kick it out of bounds. Methodist throws it in. Southern Virginia is actually going to take it back, kick it out of bounds again. Methodist is going to take the throw in. It's going to be interesting to see who's able to set the pace early. I know Coach Pemberton wants to be aggressive. He wants to take the game to his opponent. And uh, that can be hard to do against an aggre another aggressive team. you got to be able to move the ball quickly and spread it around fast and accurately. And we'll see if they're able to stay calm and do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, they're really getting the ball moving around the field here. So you're seeing it getting worked in. A lot of good defense, though. Ooh, a little, little juke move right there. <laughs> Get it back, reassess the situation. Southern Virginia with the ball. And they're going to go upfield, and they're going to get pretty close to the goal. See a really direct offensive intent, looking to move the ball, using some short passes to open up some longer opportunities. Worked out there. Hopefully more opportunities like that to come. Nice back heel. Oh. Another corner gonna, kick. Yeah, kick it out of bounds this time. Southern Virginia is going to get the corner kick. It's definitely, definitely a lot of good defense, but they're moving up the field. Have a chance to score. Yeah, early intention here already, and then a good attacking move. You know, whenever you can get that ball end line and try to pull it back, that is the highest percentage way to score a goal. So already. Doing a good job working it up the field in numbers, and we'll see if they can take advantage of this first set piece. He's getting ready. He's going to cross it. Oh, Ooh. oh! And he's going to get close here, trying to kick it in. Almost gets that early point in the game. Nice ball to the back post. The Knights are really loading up the box. That is makes it really hard on a goalkeeper when it's that congested inside of their own goal. Hard to see, and as you can see, very purposefully making it really miserable and crowded in there for the Methodist University goalkeeper. He's gonna kick it short to that crowd. And Southern Virginia is gonna take it back to about midfield, and they're just gonna go all the way back and really try to read the defense a little bit better. It's a good Ooh, recovery, kick yeah. It deep. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, it's a, it's a right. good it's a good recovery by the Knights when you load up the box like that and, and play that high up 
and and your opposition is able to pull it out so quickly um, and move the ball back up field so quickly, you've got to be able to have a lot of bodies running back full speed, and they were able to recover well. Absolutely. Methodist is going to take it up the field. Got some hard defense on them right up there just past midfield, and Southern Virginia is going to take this one back, actually. Nice attempt on that wall pass. Knights are definitely working the press here, trying to make sure that whenever Methodist has the ball, that they're they're in there, they're not letting them get any space. Yeah, I think we're seeing good defense from uh, both teams. They're both playing up pretty hard, really trying to attack that ball, I think. Yeah, you kind of live by the press and you die by the press. You want to make sure that you're coordinated and, and that takes some good training and, and good communication. And so far, it seems to be working pretty good. You're trying to make force the other team to make some mistakes and find some opportunities for yourselves. And so far, that's working out. Southern Virginia is going to throw in the ball at about midfield. You know, like we said, the defense is playing up pretty hard. They're going to pass it back to the goalie. Ooh. He's going to have someone pressing on him. <laughs> Got to love that willingness to play out of the back and keep some possession, but also going to give your coach a heart attack if you don't, if you don't get that <laughs> ball off your feet a little sooner. A lot of scuffles here. Methodist is going to take it at about midfield. There we go. They're working up closer towards the goal, and he's going to kick it. He's going to cross it. Goalie's going to block it and knock it out. They have a second attempt, and it goes through the uprights over the goal. It's a good job by the keeper punching it across the face of goal, not letting it fall to the attacker's feet who was just in front of him. Those balls that come across your face like that in that situation can be really nerve-wracking for a keeper, and you want to get that as clear as you can. He's going to clear it out. And it's going to go out of bounds. Methodist is going to take the throw in this time. And throw it upfield. Got some hard defense on him from Southern Virginia. It's a good job reacting and not. Tough challenge to the back. The ref's letting it go. Playing advantage. Ryan Rivera's going to kick it into the middle. Looks like neither of these teams are going to shy away from a physical contest today. Absolutely. Methodist is going to take it up and start driving in towards the keeper. Got some good defensive player. Yeah, saved a corner. That's great work. They start working back. Southern Virginia is really trying hard to push him back towards midfield. Methodist keeps taking the ball right back in and not giving up. Both teams pushing with their head down. It's going to get crossed and it's going to go in. Point for Methodist University. Methodist doing a little bit of what the Knights were trying to do early in the game. That was excellent ball movement. They were doing a really good job playing it to feet quickly uh, in really tight spaces, which can be hard to do. The Knights playing aggressive defense but uh, Methodist able to use that defense to their own advantage, find some space, and just as we were saying before, got in line, pulled the ball back to an uh, oncoming attacker. Excellent communication, great, great ball handling skills overall from, from Methodist. Uh, playing again with against an aggressive defense. We'll have to see if the, the Knights are able to recover and pull one back. Yeah, you know, they're just playing hard. They really read that defense on the last play, and I think it's like you said, they just reacted very quickly. Southern Virginia is going to take the kick in and just work up towards the field. Methodist is going to kick it out to prevent them going deeper into their territory. The ball's going to go up and back. SVU is going to play it pretty non nonchalantly, but they still got that defense pressing in. Good job managing to keep some possession. Methodist now. is going to start working in. Methodist looking to counter. 
heading towards the goal. They're going to cross it towards the middle. Southern Virginia is going to pop it up and try to try to get this situation under control. A little bit of a shank there. Fortunate not to give up a corner. Methodist has been able to find some space down the wings. Yes. Methodist is going to kick it out of bounds. A hopeful shot. <laughs> Absolutely. He had a good amount of speed on it. You see the spin, it cut a little bit. And the keeper's going to try to kick it out. That was a shot. You know, sometimes as a defense, you're, I mean, you want to decide what you're going to give up. And depending on your opposition, you know, if you want to, you might let a team take a long shot or two. But um, that shot looked like it was knuckling. If that had been on, on target, that might have been a, a tough one to keep out. Southern Virginia is going to start taking it up and start passing it back and forth, working in, reading the defense pretty well. But Methodist is going to get their feet on this one. Physical play turns into a foul. There it is. Yeah, Knights playing physically. Working hard to win that ball back as soon as they lose it. Oh, absolutely. Both teams are going really aggressive. Methodist is going to start taking this towards SVU's territory. Continuing space, or at least look for space down the wings. Seems like the Knights are trying to push the game outside. I think the ball movement is good, though. They're definitely passing a lot, really trying to get the best read on this. And Methodist University is going to attempt to cross it or go towards the goal. I really don't know where that kick was headed, but it goes out of bounds, and the keeper's going to take this one. Well, and that's what you hope for when you play that kind of a game where you're moving it outside and you get someone caught in the corner. And maybe they get a little impatient and send in an errant cross that doesn't go anywhere. That said, that just like the shot, that cross, though it was errant, you know, pulled back just a little bit further with an attacker there, was still close to being dangerous. They're going to have to watch. Ball's going to go up. Southern Virginia is going to head this right back towards Methodist University, and they're going to start taking it up the field. Still playing some really hard defense. I think really what's going to make this game is doing that the entire time. You know, when it starts getting late in the game, you've got to be able to keep this energy up, the same aggressiveness. Yes, they're definitely trying to pull one back quickly and sometimes that that comes at a cost pushing this hard early there's a direct play again looking for those runs sometimes hitting those direct balls up the middle are easier for the keeper to get to sometimes you want to look for those on the wings where there's a little bit more space to make things happen but uh, Methodist University is not offering the Knights any space and that was a pretty sweet spin move Methodist is going to kick it to number six, Ryan Rivera, who's sitting pretty open going down the sideline. Good pace. Yeah, these Methodist players definitely know where their teammates are and when they are there. This is really tight play to feet, keeping possession, pulling, in, pulling the ball into space. Oop. And a good block there from SVU. Yeah, that was a well-executed shot, forcing the keeper low into the side. Those are hard to save. Southern Virginia's going to kick the ball upfield with one person on two defenders. Good hustle. And he's going to start going, working towards the goal. He's getting pretty close. He's going to kick it back. Hard to be isolated up there. Some, some SVU players were on their way up to help, but couldn't quite hold that ball up long enough to to get his teammates up there, but good good intentions again by the Knights, trying to get that ball back up field. Southern Virginia is going to try hard to get past this Methodist defense, and they are starting to push a little bit, make a dent. Methodist still really keeping them where they are, though. And they're going to work towards the field and cross, Whoa, and the keeper cross. is going to block it. Dangerous ball, excellent job getting space. Love that, that first touch cross. Ooh. Physical play again. Nice physical play. Looked shoulder to shoulder to me. Well, 
from Omen, number 12, playing with some good defense, some good physical defense. Got to be careful not to foul. Knight's keeping this press up, trying to make sure that the that Methodist has, has no space. But sometimes what that means is there's space on the opposite sides, just like they were able to find here. But once again, close down quickly. You just got to make sure that behind you, you're getting good coverage. And the Knight's doing a pretty good job of staying organized and forcing the ball to go back. No, I am really impressed with Method uh, Methodist offense today. They, they don't seem to rush or hurry. They're staying pretty composed over there, it seems like. That ball is staying really close to their feet. Um, so even, even though the Knights are, are pressing hard and trying to take their space away, if you can play with that level of control, and not take it away because they're they're not giving that ball up to the Knights at all. You're, as a defender, you're trying to be patient and wait for the attacker to, to, to give you a, to, to make a mistake and give you a chance to get that ball back. But Methodist is not allowing them to do that. They're playing good, quick passing. Again, two feet. They're also doing a really good job. The Knights are struggling a little bit getting control out of the air as the ball bounces getting it to the floor where they can control it quickly. And uh, the touch from the Methodist players has been just a little cleaner, a little sharper. Maybe that's one of those areas where you see that age difference um, at this pace of the, of the game taking its toll a little bit. Methodist, the set piece here. There you go, there's gonna cross it. Look to try to head it in. He's gonna get the wrong part of his head and go out of bounds. Looks like they did get the corner, didn't they? <laughs> oh, see, Methodist see didn't a take complete, it. Yeah, see a complete difference in strategy here where the Knights are crowding the box. The uh, Methodist seems to want to pull everybody outside the box and then rush, probably put a ball right near the penalty spot and try to rush it with numbers. He's gonna kick it in towards There it the is. Towards the front, Methodist is going to take it back, try to recess, and he's going to shoot and miss. Ooh. It's going to go out of bounds. Oh, looks like a Knight got a touch on the ball. Is that right? Another corner. Knights are going to have to do a good job defending this and keeping it in front of them. The Methodist has, has been able to find a little bit of space. Yeah, they're definitely getting in a dangerous zone, taking all these shots. Oh, switching it up, and here, here's Methodist crowding the box this time. Sometimes this depends on which foot the corner taker uh, is using. In this case, a, a sort of a right in-swinging ball means they want to crowd the box a little bit more and see what they can do. There you go, he's gonna cross it. Oof! And he's gonna hit the post, hit the uprights, and the keeper is gonna grab the ball just in time. Should be a goal kick. It looked like it went just over the bar and hit the, hit the football goal post, so a goal right. kick. There we go, it's a goal kick. Let's see what he does. I believe that Methodist has had five shots where SVU has only had one. You know, and I think that really shows the difference in, in terms of aggressiveness on the offense. Yeah, Methodist is definitely turning their, their excellent passing and possession play into offensive opportunities. And a team like SVU has to know that's a possibility and, and you game plan for that. You try to make sure that you're ready to counter just as they are right now, quickly and sharply. So even though you know a, a team like Methodist is probably gonna get a lot of the possession, if you can make that possession less effective, force them to take or less effective, and then hopefully take your own, even if they're fewer, then you can still be successful. So now the Knights would hope, would, would hope to use this opportunity to keep keep the ball a little bit more in the, in the attacking third. But Methodist also very willing to press here, but giving some space. And it was a dangerous ball right across the face from goal. Excellent job with that cross getting along the floor. Knights trying to get to that. That was a golden opportunity. It's gonna be a goal kick for Methodist. He's 
going to kick it deep towards the SVU territory. I'm going to start heading the ball up forward. See, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh. Ooh. Got a little scuffle right there. Love the aggressive play. You got to be careful when you're on the back of a defender there. As soon as those arms go out and you push there from the back, that turns into a – ref's going to call that almost every time. Getting ready for the kick for the from the goalie, and it's going to go deep. There we go, playing ball some getting aggressive caught up ball. Could turn into an opportunity for Methodist here. Ooh, and the goalie's going to miss this, but the defender's going to kick it out right there. It'll be a corner kick for Methodist. That's a good read by the defender, not allowing himself to get caught ball watching, but, but still tracking his defender, able to clear that out. That was a dangerous ball. Another dangerous opportunity there for, for Methodist that the Knights are able to turn to a goal kick. So a couple little, a couple little defensive gaffes back there that they're able to recover from. Good job not conceding a goal, but Methodist, very dangerous. Excellent organized play from them. Oh yeah, they're doing a great job of being able to get into SVU zone and start working in. And here comes the kick and it's gonna go deep again. Southern Virginia's gonna take it. Oh, you see the intent there. It's so close. It's it's the it's an excellent job there by by Tanner Gonder trying to find feet. You can see the intent there to get an on-running player. The ball just a little bit off pace. You've got, you know the, the more they continue to be patient with that and develop it, that is going to turn into attacking opportunities. Just just needs to clean it up a little bit with a little bit more confidence. Both teams playing aggressively. There seems to be a lot more fouls coming from SVU, as I believe that's their fourth. Yeah, when you're under that much constant pressure, you know, again, they're, they're trying to play with this press all over the field and force a good team. I mean, that's what you have to do to a team that plays with good control and good passing and good communication is you've got to try your best to disrupt it. So it's an excellent game plan. Uh, the problem is when you're exerting that much energy trying to keep the ball out of your you know, defensive third and they're still finding success, you can, get, you can get a little frustrated and that physical play leads to a foul or two. Now that he's gonna kick it in and it's gonna get headed, it's still in their zone. It's good defense from the Knights. It's a good job by Methodist finding a facing player, a player facing the goal who could have gotten the shot, but the defense was right there in time to keep that from turning into something even more dangerous. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's like you're saying, you know, both teams are playing aggressive, but it definitely seems like Methodist just is finding more success, and that definitely comes back to, you know, the chemistry the players have, I think. There's a lot of juniors and seniors that have played together for a long time. Um, you know, and SVU definitely has a lot of freshmen that are coming from different places, um, and they've, they've never played together before. Well, that's one of the interesting things about a school like SVU. The, the, the clientele for, for SVU comes from a wide variety of places. When you look across the roster everywhere from, you know, lots because of the, uh, the alignment with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you've got quite a few students from Utah, but then you've got California, Ohio, Washington, uh, Delaware, Alaska even, all over the country for the Knights. And when you look across the list here too, and it's just freshmen, freshmen, another foul. Another foul, wow. But yeah, you look down this list, freshmen, 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 so many freshmen and sophomores. And again, so much talent. Have to be excited about the future for these, for these nights. But that t it takes time to gel. And then when you add to that, the tradition of so many of, of these, who, these players who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ to serve, of Latter-day Saints to serve, to serve missions, oh, once again, able to get end line. Anyway, uh, even harder if they leave for two years to serve these missions and come back and try to, to blend all that together. It makes it a real challenge. SVU working from their own zone. They're going to go deep with it. Once right again, really down. direct. Again, 
again, these little opportunities to turn defense into attack and just missing feet, missing runs. Looks like the Knights are trying really hard to find some through balls here, but those can be hard to hit if you miss time runs. And most of these through balls, unfortunately, are, are, are turning out to be pretty harmless, whereas Methodist is doing a really good job of just finding feet, not playing so much the through ball unless it's that last final ball towards the end line. Just quick, simple one and two touch passing. Soccer's a simple game. As they say, pass and move, pass and move. And <laughs> they make that sound so easy, but it is not. Yeah, simple game, definitely a team game. Methodist is using that to their advantage. And they're gonna keep working on SVU's ground, start drawing in the defense and going back with it. Like you said, they're just finding feet. Really back simple passing, forward. almost always some space. There again, now there's Methodist trying a through ball, doesn't turn into an attack, but they are able to keep to keep the ball. Good defense from the Knights. Start passing up. Good hustle there, looking to counter. Once again, missing feet. And there was a good block by the defender. Yeah, good footwork there from Justice Mack. Good job keeping the ball in front of him, watching the defender's hips. And it's going to go out of bounds, and another goal kick for SVU. It's one of those things. If if we if if the Knights can continue to force some of these longer shots, you are playing with fire. They have got some really gifted attackers here on Methodist, but if they can at least take some of the sting out of those shots, hopefully they can hold out and as, as far as Coach Pemberton is hoping for and, and create some opportunities of their own. Good defense, cutting that pass out, good read, read of the game. So you trying hard to put pressure on Methodist defense. That's a frustrating, yeah, frustrating situation. Sorry to interrupt uh, for the coach to have a ball in in a position to keep some possession and to to get beat to it, to be second to the ball. Uh, can mean some tired legs, can mean some frustration, and a little bit of a lack of confidence. Methodist getting to the ball first, but there there's some good hustle once again. That's Justice Mack on that side, not allowing in that case, himself to be second to the ball. They start pulling up the field. You know, finding feet again, finding feet. They start passing it back and forth. Not necessarily driving in, but just getting open. Looking for that through ball again. And the Good goal communication. Is jump on it. A good communication between those two. Uh, that would have been an easy ball for the defender to clear out if the goalkeeper's not talking and that the goalkeeper made it clear that he had the ball and Knights get to turn it into defense. But as you say, finding feet, good passing, good, just really crisp, clean, quick play from Methodist. That's a hard thing to say, three times fast. <laughs> but um, for the Knights to match that, they're going to, to, to take the sting out of this, we're going to have to keep a little bit more possession. Oh, and a slide tackle, Oof. and he's going to get that. Good tackle. A good clean tackle right there. And they're going to corner one of the players for Methodist. Even though he lost the ball, that's a pretty good job keeping some control, surrounded by three knights, just keeping that ball close to his feet. Absolutely some good defense trying to keep Methodist on their toes. It's about this time in the half when you see that playing that pressing game for so long, it starts to get into your lungs a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely, the wear and tear that it takes. We're gonna get ready for the throw in from Methodist. Looks like we have a substitution there. Alexander Berry for Dallin Miller. Maybe 
freshman for another freshman, I believe. Like I said, it's a young team out there. Hop around. They seem to be all right keeping up with Methodist, though. The score is still 1-0. to zero. Yeah, i got to be happy with that. Even though Methodist has clearly had the bulk of the possession, has been able to sort of dictate the pace of this game, um, the defense for the Knights have been, has been pretty solid, and, and the majority of the shots they've been able to force have been have been from outside the box, not terrorists. If they could turn one of these one of these counters into an attacking opportunity, soccer's a funny game. The team that possesses the most and attacks the most and shoots the most doesn't always win. Methodist is gonna start working towards midfield. Try to find that open guy. An open zone, and SVU's going to knock it back and take the ball around the same spot. And it's going to go out of bounds. SVU's going to take the throw in in Methodist zone. Their third of the field, and he's going to kick it in towards the middle. It's getting close, but it's going to go out of bounds. Dangerous ball. Looks like it took a deflection off of Methodist. Earned a corner here. Good job taking a nice quick throw in, not allowing Methodist to come all the way back and set up their defense. Sort of a speculative cross, but you never know when you when you pull a ball back or back across the face of goal when it's going to take a touch, and you are in a set piece. and And the Knights have to be eager to capitalize on set pieces. These may end up being among their best opportunities. Once again, crowding this box, see if we can get a good in swinging ball here that they can take advantage of. That's you know, attempt to slide tackle really good Memphis dribbling, try to dribbling from Methodist. Once again, though, that was a, a really dangerous counter that the Knights in recovering, and some of these players look pretty tired, yet they're sprinting all the way back the whole distance of the field to take the bite out of that attack. Absolutely. you got to respect the effort that both teams are putting into this. You know, yeah. SVU is definitely facing a, a more experienced team with each other and probably the game as well. Um, Methodist is going to kick out of bounds. SVU is going to take the throw in. Number three, Trey Ricker is going to come in for number 16, Callum Yule for SVU. Callum Yule is definitely one of the leaders on this team. Uh, an important influence on and off the field. He's been running a lot up and down the field. Definitely, I'm sure, needs needs a breather. And SVU's gonna try hard to keep Methodists in their own spot. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. It's a good job getting the ball in the air. He's going to take it back just a little bit, try to reassess. Good touch. Here we go. It's staying around the same spot. The defense doing a good job of containing. And Methodist is actually going to take the throw in here. Some good defense. Well, that was really excellent effort there out of number 13, Tanner Gonder. Had a little bit of a rough, heavy first touch there, but because of his effort, was able to get the ball back. But now Methodist in a dangerous position. Wasn't able to really see that challenge in the box. That's playing with fire. I'm not trying not to give up a penalty. And start taking it closer up the field, start working towards SVU's goal. Once again, good patience from the Knights, not over committing. Ooh, what a touch. That was a good move. A good solid move right there. Matthew Manzano, excellent job keeping the ball close to his feet, pulling it back. He's going to try to cross it. That's his defense getting a hand out there. Yeah, got to watch. Again, pushing off there. Got to be careful. And 
they're going to try to work it upfield. Pass it back to Methodist University's goalie. His keeper, I'm sorry. Oh, they both work. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Dubinsky trying to be a little fancy there. The back heel. Once again, finding space on the wing, catching Dubinsky up Another a little bit up the zone. field, trying to get end line and push it back. It's good, dangerous play, but central defenders and midfielders for the Knights able to come back and, and plug up those holes. He's going to try to get it in. He's going to kick it up. Playing some good physical defense and offense right there. Good hustle there. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to keep it. Sometimes you get so focused on that individual battle that you lose a little bit of sight of where your teammates are to get that off of your feet and keep possession. And that, that comes with time and experience. Reed Robertson there, freshman. Good hustle, good speed. And you win a free kick. Maybe get a chance. Push it upfield. Good hustle there from the Knights to keep some possession. SVU's going to start passing it up the field, and he's just going to go deep with it. Ooh, a dangerous ball. Absolutely. That was an excellent ball from Justice Mack back there again, who's just been, he's really been a, a firecracker over there in the corner, keeping the ball from hustling up and down the field. And then that ball was just perfectly weighted to create an attacking opportunity for the Knights. End up turning, sort of pulling a corner out of nothing. It's good play. And we're gonna get the corner kick from SVU. Number nine, Ammon Lewis is going to come in for James Allen for SVU. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Turns to a goal kick. Yeah, the Knights are really excited to have Ammon Lewis back and ready to play. Coach Pemberton really singled out Ammon as being a key leader on this Knights team. Said he was going to limit his minutes today because he's still recovering from that injury, but definitely want to see, wants to see some impact here from him late in this first half. The ball's going to go up the field. Going to get a good read on this ball, but it goes out of bounds, and I believe that's going to be SVU's throw in. And try hard to read the defense, start working backwards. Now they're go going up the field. I was going to go up towards the keeper, and he's going to take it. When you look for some of those high through balls that deep in the field. It's hard to keep those away from the keeper. Want to play a little bit more possession, maybe keep it on the ground. Some intent here. Team's looking to get a good lead on this ball. He's going to take out his legs. Number 30 for SVU got taken out. His name's Josh Dubinsky. Dubinsky but he's going to get up uninjured. He's Lucky. been involved in a lot of physical play already this half. Just really want to give a shout out here to, to Tanner Gonder. He has just been in many many times looks like he's sort of an isolated forward up there running all the way up and down back and forth along the along the wings and up high dangerous ball number three Trey Ricker is going to kick that ball towards the goal and the keeper's going to take it though well there you see Ammon Lewis stand up high trying to to push off a defender calling for the ball he wants to score Justice Mack misjudging there just a little bit, the flight of the ball, but good recovery, good handoff between the two defenders, taking each other's space, good communication. 
Both players are going to fall down there. And that feet got kind of tangled up there. I don't think they're going to call anything, though. Did he just take that quickly, or couldn't tell if that was the quickly taken free kick? Or Knights may maybe getting a little bit of momentum here. They're able to take one more shot. See if they can keep moving that way. SVU is going to try to move it up the field, but Methodist is going to be right there. Once again, looking for a through ball. That time, it wasn't really a wasn't even really a night there making a run. I want to take a look at that in terms of play. I think SVU is just trying to rush it there, trying to get out the out of the defense's way, trying to move up the field, and didn't have much time to read it. I think he just met, misread the play. A free kick, and the Knights are pushing just about everybody up the field. They're going to go straight forward with it. Dangerous ball. Knights are going to want to keep this up here with the defender so far back. Another dangerous ball if they can get to it. It's a little heavy. It's going to be a goal kick for Methodist. Not bad ideas. It's just the kind of play where it just is, you know, just a hair off. Just a little heavy, a little slow. Someone not quite making a run. It's the kind of thing that you just keep learning from each other more and more and gets a little tighter and really can turn into opportunities. But got to be patient. The ball's going to go out of bounds. Methodist is going to take the throw in and throw it up the field. Southern Virginia not giving up. They're playing some good defense, some good aggressive defense there. Yeah, good job not letting them turn. And he's going to shank that ball right there. And See, that's, he's going to take it right back. Yep, as a defender, that is what you're hoping for. And then the way they've been playing, probably looking to turn this into a long pass, as they do here. Quick, easy counter. Just can't quite get that control. We often say as coaches that the most important basic skill in soccer is that first touch. And when you watch soccer at the highest level, it's the players who can get that ball into a position where they can use it the fastest that are able to turn that into possession or, or shots or any kind of opportunity. And that's been a little bit of the, distant, uh, the difference today. The effort has been matched team for team the desire is certainly there for both teams. Methodist has just been able to play with a little bit more control, a little bit more possession. Absolutely. If we take it back to the stats, you know, you're talking about opportunities over here. Um, Methodist has had seven shots, and Southern Virginia has only had one, and I think that really shows the difference in, you know, opportunities, like you were saying. That's right. The more opportunities to score does, in fact, equal more points. The good news for the Knights is you only need one or two to go in to get a result. And they do have that one opportunity, and they've shown some, some, some dangerous intent if they can just get another clear opportunity or two. And I will say a, a good chunk of those Methodist opportunities have been from distance. So that's sometimes where you can pad your stats a little bit. Sometimes total shots are an okay stat, shots on goal, a better shot, better stat. The new sort of fad in stats in soccer is X goals or expected goals, and those try to take into account the uh, the quality of those shots. Unfortunately, we don't we don't get those <laughs> <laughs> the X goal <laughs> stats. <laughs> Methodist is going to throw the ball in deep into SVU's territory. This can be dangerous. Good long throw. Ooh, that's one of those areas where you want your keeper and your defenders communicating a little bit better. That seems like something that could have been snagged out of the air. Absolutely, they almost take, take each other out. No call here, no foul here. Looking for the long ball. Here we go, and is gonna take it one on one and he's gonna try to slide tackle him. Looking ball's to gonna throw go it out. in quickly. Good quick throw, keeping the attack going. 
Oh, just a little loss of control. Shanked it there a bit. Shanked at it. Still looked like he didn't get a touch on it. That's where missing the ball actually, sort of whiffing on that actually ended up being better for them because it turned into a to a goal kick. But there is once again Tanner Gonder being a total pest. Just running up and down the field, side to side. Absolutely, and I think it's the, the execution. Like you said, he missed the ball. I think he just tried to rush it a little bit. And you know, it is about the intent as well, but the execution has to be there. That's right. Knight's doing a good job keeping some possession here. Yes, he's gonna pass it back to their keeper. See what he does with it, and he's gonna go deep with it. Way to pick out a good long pass. Oh yeah, he good was Good distribution way open. there, and good control. Justice Mack once again looking for that long pass. Kind of a dangerous header with Get Tanner Gonder right. around. You gotta be careful. He'll make you pay for one of those. And once again, just getting a little bit too nippy on the on the back heels there of the of the attacking Methodist player there. Playing some good physical defense, but it's resulted in several fouls. SVU has twice the fouls that Methodist does. Uh, you know, I think they're both playing very intensely. Oof. That'll have some sting to it. Oh, yeah. that'll. <laughs> he's going to get a bruise tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, and sometimes you'll take some of those fouls if you're trying to play a more physical game up the field in, in, in less dangerous posi um, positions, especially if it gives your team a chance to breathe for a second. A couple of these fouls the Knights have given up, though, have been in some pretty dangerous positions for Methodist. Good defense. And good slide. Nice block in there. You got to be sure when you go to ground. And worked out that time, thankfully, for the Knights. Methodist is going to throw the ball in towards the goal. Oh, he's going to head it and it'll go in past the keeper. Another point for Methodist University. Just an easy flick. Oh, wow. That's a that's a disheartening goal from the perspective of the Knights. They they were they had bodies in the right position but they caught just a little bit. They got caught a little bit flat-footed. That's one you definitely don't want to give up. A little bit of a cheap goal, but got to give Methodist a lot of credit for earning that corner with again good aggressive attacking play. An excellent near post corner, found somebody making a good run. And again, Knights caught just a little flat footed. That could be some fatigue. And so now they're gonna have to get their heads up. It's a lot different coming back from from two nothing here at the end of the half than than one one nothing. So always a little bit more discouraging to give up a goal right near halftime. Both teams getting worn down, it seems like defensively. SVU is going to get in their territory. Start working Ooh. in for that through pass. He's going to cross it. Oh, right idea. Trying to get it first time. Maybe rushed it a bit. Good response from the Knights. It's a really good job turning that into to an attacking opportunity. Would have loved to pull one back. Once again, that works both ways. Having given up that goal, being able to to put one more goal or put an put a goal in right before the half ends certainly changes your halftime team talk for both coaches. One minute and the keeper's going to kick it towards midfield. Method is playing some good defense here, trying to keep the ball out on SVU's side. It's going to stay pretty even, stay towards midfield. Oh, good. Good job there from Ammon Lewis. Looking to create an opportunity here really late in the half. Uh, once again, there's a, just a little bit of that heavy touch. Ooh, some good defense from Methodist, and he's going to take the ball from him. Oh, and good tight control. Ah, it's excellent play there. Absolutely. That ball control is almost perfect. I thought it was to get this name right. I believe that's Kether Fuana Seth. He's, he has also been a menace. He's the one who set up that corner on that last play. Really good job, still continuing to be aggressive. Took advantage of that heavy touch and that, ch that challenge there on Justice. 
though I'm sure Justin would have liked to have seen a call. It was shoulder to shoulder. It was clean. We're going to take this game to halftime. You know, both game from both sides working very hard. Uh, but Methodist is going to win this half at 2-0. to zero. Yeah, High effort, high intensity. Excited for the second half.
And welcome back to Southern Virginia versus Methodist University. The score is two to zero. Methodist is up. Both teams playing very aggressive soccer today. It's fun to watch. You know, I think it's good. You know, these freshmen on SVU are definitely getting a lot of experience in this game alone, I think. Um, definitely showing it. They want to play. Both teams are and I think they've made that very clear. Yeah, SVU, I think Coach Pemberton has to be happy with a lot of the things that he saw out there today in terms of energy and intent and staying together and keeping their heads up. Methodist is a good team, and, and Methodist actually seems to be doing a lot of the things that the, that the Knights would like to be doing in terms of quick, quick crisp passing and, and this high press that they're running. Some of those things are things that the Knights are trying to do. Uh, so you can learn playing, playing against a team like this. Um, and so I think, again, lots, lots to build on. Uh, this game certainly isn't over by any means. Uh, interesting to see how they're going to come out this second half. They're going to keep up that high energy, high press. Knights are probably going to want to do their best to be aggressive and try to pull something back early. We'll see if, if Methodist decides to, to pull it back a little bit, keep some possession, and make the Knights run a little bit, or if they'll continue to play super aggressive attacking soccer. So. We'll see what halftime adjustments both of these coaches make. Methodist is going to be taking the ball first at kickoff. And we're going to take it down to the field as we get started. Methodist is going to start working back towards their own territory. Try to read the defense a little bit. Oh, errant ball for Methodist here. SVU's gonna take it. Nice turn there. SVU doing a good job keeping it close to feet. They're gonna try Dangerous to get around the ball. defense. They're gonna get it out, but it'll go out of bounds. SVU still stayed close, but throw it in. Good job by the Knights turning a Methodist kickoff into an attacking opportunity. Cross got away from him a little bit, but. Now we have a goal kick for Methodist University. Well, looks like already in terms of early intent here, Knights going to press up the field, going to play aggressive like they did the first half, just as we said. It seemed like Methodists have, don't really have enough to go on yet, but was pushing the ball around the back a little bit more. We'll see how that plays out. And Methodist is gonna try to work up the field. Southern Virginia really coming in with the defense. They're gonna take it, pass it back to the keeper. Whew. Get a good read on it. Ammon Lewis starting here in the second half. SBU's gonna take the throwing, sorry. No, that's okay, a Ammon showing the the danger that he offers the Knights, the the offensive intent and the and the and the scoring potential already in those few minutes that he played in the end of the first half. I'm sure Coach Pemberton wants to see some of that hopefully impact this game early here in the second half. Once again, not quite able to find feet, not quite on the same page, but Knights trying hard to attack this and win the ball back early. Good job by Methodist, just moving the ball around, keeping some possession up until that moment. There it is. And SVU's gonna throw the ball in. Here we go, throw it towards the Methodist side. Start working up the field, some good defense. We kick the ball out of bounds, take another throw in. Looks like Methodist might have a couple of their attacking weapons on the bench, giving them some rest with that two goal lead. Appears there on the far side of the field from us is, is uh, the, the player who seems to be their star this season, Hudson Zeisman, came into the game with four goals and five assists and has a goal and an assist already in this game, um, showing why Coach Pemberton mentioned before the game that he was someone they were going to really have to keep an eye on 
and even with that emphasis, he's still he's a, a very gifted, talented player. And the other player that 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 SVU really wanted to keep an eye out for was was um, the player we mentioned also who scored the, or, or set up that second goal, uh, Cather Fuana Seth, and also dangerous. One player is going to work in on the SVU defense all by himself. He's going to kick the ball. The ball is going to go out of bounds uh, for a Methodist corner. Christopher Schofer keeping that ball tight to his feet, earning a corner. You can see the Methodist playing more defensively here off of this corner, keeping more of their players back. More concerned about defending the potential counter than they are necessarily scoring on a goal on a corner kick. Of course, you always want to score, but. We got some Knights over there on that one offensive player. And that's going to be a foul. Matthew Manzano, another player who was was dangerous there in the first half. Kept that ball maybe at his feet a little bit too long, holding off three or four night defenders, but eventually lost it and then forced to foul, and the Knights have a chance to counter here. The keeper's just going to kick it out of there, try to get it out of their zone. Let's be you with the throw in. Defensive slide tackle. You have to be careful with those challenges. Went to went to ground early. Ref decides to just have a talk to him. Definitely gonna watch watch that and not do that again. And number nine, Ammon Lewis getting pretty intense there on defense. And the keeper's gonna take this one from getting any any further for Methodist. Yeah, good job there from Gutzmann reading the play well. Saw the heavy ball, got to the ball quickly. Drop, oh. Fancy moves there at midfield. Well, Knights trying to turn into a counterattack. Ooh. Guess he got a toe on that ball. <laughs> good defense just got caught up in the footing over there. Yeah. Knights though able to keep a little bit of possession here and they're and they're attacking third. See if they can create some offense. SVU's gonna try to work towards the center of the field. Methodist is gonna take the ball up and see if he can get past the defense, and he will. Trey Ricker there maybe maybe trying to force force it a little bit. Did a good job pulling the ball across the <clears throat> the edge of the box there. Methodist is going to try to cross it. The keeper's going to grab it. Save the ball from getting any, any momentum towards the goal. Once again, a good read. Neither team necessarily taking control of this second half yet. Both teams staying pretty even with each other, is what it seems like. Lewis being aggressive up the field. Methodist is going to kick the ball way out. That'll be a throw in for SVU. The ball was out on the Blue Ridge Parkway there somewhere. <laughs> Blue Ridge Parkway. Well, forcing a corner. We're going to see another corner kick. Here we go. like Alexander Berry making his way over to the ball. Hopefully gonna use that right foot, get an in-swinger. Knights once again deciding to crowd the box. Early chance for SVU to score here. This will really make a difference throughout the game if they're able to get this point. He's gonna cross it. And it'll go over the group. SVU's gonna try to keep playing the ball. Getting a little handsy over there from the Methodist defense. Not able to control it, keep it upfield. Those in-swingers, often you don't want them to float quite so much. Gives the defense a chance to react and get the ball out of there. Seemed to want to go back post with that. 
with those corners now a few times. Close on, on one of them, but that one probably got away from him just a little bit. Ammon Lewis being aggressive. Methodist overall taking the ball back towards SVU's territory. Ref was looking to see if there was an advantage, decided to pull the ball back after there wasn't one. Ammon obviously a little bit frustrated there, but maybe just a little bit over aggressive. I'll let you off the hook though. Knights once again pressing their right away, but excellent touch there from Matthew Manzano once again, keeping that ball close to his feet. Several players there on the floor. He's tripping up, I think. Just having a hard time the Knights connecting, turning any defense into offense, connecting there from the midfield to the attackers. Some of the direct balls have looked dangerous, but when they try to stay to feet, always looking for those through balls and, and not connecting as often as I'm sure Coach Pemberton would like them to. Yeah, just finishing the execution of the play is really the what they need to be doing a little bit more. Just the follow through. Getting some good defense from SVU. Yep. Once again, no, Methodist looking to set up another clean give and go. Get into the corner. They're going to cross it. It'll Ooh. go over the keeper's head. And that'll be a goal kick. Dangerous ball, though, to the back post. Good job, though. Looked like two SVU defenders read that play pretty well. Still got to be careful. Looks like Coach Pemberton probably wants to save Ammon Lewis's legs for the second half. And once again, puts, puts Tanner Gonder in there. Now hopefully rested after a really active first half. I'm sure they're going to rely on him. Run a bit of a rest and see if they can get some, some late minutes with him in the, in the, in the second half. Methodist Ooh. is pressing a bit and gets a shot off. Again, press. They're, most of these shots they've forced Methodist to make have been from, from distance, but there's a reason why Methodist isn't afraid to take them. That was pretty dangerous. Absolutely. They're taking a lot of shots. They've already made two of them. Methodist is very confident with the ball. Once again, that pass, just the right intention, just a little slow, but good hustle. Comes all the way back, tries to, to, to fix losing the ball and get it back. Not able to, but still good play. They're in a very dangerous zone. The keeper's gonna run up. Brave play there. Very risky, but it overall pays off. You got to react to that soon. You can't hesitate. Had a chance to potentially give it up, but still got there quickly, threw his body in the way. Excellent job there from the keeper. That was a dangerous play from Methodist. SVU defenders lost track of it just a little bit. And, and Sean Gutzmann able, to, able to, to cover that one up. There's that press arriving once again, hoping to force an errant back pass. Almost works. Got to say, the Knights are very organized in this press. If they can turn something like this, where you win the ball back up the field into an attacking opportunity, that's the kind of thing that can really build some momentum. So the Virginia's going to try to get it up oh, there towards the goal, find a dangerous area. Tanner once again being dangerous. That his defense is still going pretty aggressive, not giving anything up. Got to love that as a coach, not giving anything for free. Got to work really. for it. Neither team is being allowed much space. Methodist is doing a little bit of a better job making the Knights chase this just a little bit. But still, both teams fully committed. Can't ask for more than that. And the keeper's going to kick this one. Oh, must have been a foul. Didn't see what it was. Just taking their time a little bit more here in the second half. Do have a little more cushion room. Still up by two goals. Oh. 
What Still a ball. taking shots. They're up in their dangerous zone there. Oh. Snatched that a little bit. That was a dangerous play. And there once again was Hudson's Eisman ready to, to create a scoring opportunity. Being a little bit unselfish there. Had kind of a, a, sh a shooting opportunity himself. Tried to lay that ball off. Didn't quite find feet, but continuing to be dangerous. And then not too many touches either. They moved that ball up the field really quickly. The keeper's going to take this one. He's going to kick it towards midfield. Method is trying to get a play on the ball as they take the first, the first touch. There, as you see, once again, Methodist just able to get control of that ball quickly, settled it onto the floor, get it moving around. Knights being forced to chase it a little bit. Oh, errant pass. Let's see if SVU's the Knights can turn this into something. Whoop, and the keeper will knock it down, keep it from going inside the goal. Good Overall, yeah, sorry to interrupt. There was, a, there was a good angle, good aggressive run on the ball, got his knee over the ball, trying to send the ball across the face of the goal just like you're taught to, hoping that maybe the keeper will mishandle it and give an on an onrushing attacker a chance at it or maybe even squeeze one in at the near post. Unlucky a little bit there, but, but a shot on goal and good intent nonetheless. That's why you play that press. That's why you put players like Tanner there up high to be able to hopefully turn opportunities like that or turn defensive effort like that into opportunities. Methodist is going to try to capitalize on this ball, but SVU is playing some pretty good defense. Once again, Methodist keeping it tight to their feet. Yeah, Trey Ricker going all out, trying to stay hands-on on the ball. Looks like forced to – oh, a goal kick. Oh, some great defense there by number three. Trey Ricker. He has been part of many of these defensive plays here today, first and second half, up and down the field. Playing a system like this on the wings like he is or as a fullback means a whole lot of running. Can't tell if he's being subbed or if he's being asked to switch sides there. Looks like Coach Pemberton switching some things up. Now moving to the far side, looks like he's moved Justice Mack there, who had been playing fullback into the middle. He's an athletic, tall player. Both of those center backs are maybe trying to plug up that hole a little bit more or maybe give Justice a little bit of breather. He's another one. Um, he and Trey, all the, both of these sets of fullbacks up and down the field all game long have to be tired. So sometimes if you don't want to take them off, you can move them around a little bit if they have that flexibility and give them a break but still benefit from their, from their skills. Number 12, Colton Nolman with some good footwork there. He's not going to be able to get it past the defense, though. Justice, good hustle. Saw he was about to be beat there and able to, to get that ball off of his feet. Absolutely. That's a safe play there. Tried to get the ball out of bounds. I think it's really dangerous. Methodist is still pushing forward, though. Moving that ball around. Knights, so much effort. It can get a little discouraging chasing the game a little bit, but they just keep going. Methodist is going to take the throw in. And again, a couple opportunities there for the Knights, maybe not to rush a header, but to get that ball to the floor, find a good pass, even if it's a direct one. Good job there, now switching sides. Trey Ricker. They're gonna throw the ball in. Seems to be cornered a little bit. Turns a corner. Good job of keeping him pinned in over there. Shows good awareness there from the Methodist player, able to, to earn something out of that with nothing to do. I believe that's Sean Laney. Some He's had a good offense. second half. Absolutely. It's a good job of just containing the ball and not letting the defense take it from him. It's hard when you got more than one defender on you, but did a good job of just protecting the ball. Looking for that left-footed in-swinger here. Methodist crowding the box, going near post. 
You can see they saw something there they liked. That's the They were able to score in a similar play on the other side of the field in the first half, going near post. Wasn't quite as well executed that time. And the keeper's going to pass the ball off. They're going to pass it back. <laughs> He'll just take it back to midfield, but Methodist is going to get the first touch on this and try to get a good read on the defense, see if they can make any progress towards the goal. SVU's going to take oh, it. Turns it into something. Good pace here. Some possibilities here to score. Errant clearance. SVU in Methodist nah. territory, and they're going to Again, it to the keeper. Such a good idea. Making a really good run. Picking up that run. Hard to do when when the midfielder there is not even facing the play. Read it well. Just not able to keep that ball on the ground. And that ball as it skids across the floor. Unable to control and turn into a shot. Just so close. That just takes it back to what we were saying before. SVU is really good at making a play. Just having a little trouble following through and executing the, the finishing touch on it. Yeah, the effort is there. Just the, the control and that execution, as you say. Just if they, if once, As they continue to clean that up, there's promise for sure. Ooh, he's going to play some very aggressive defense. That'll lead to a foul. Uh, and a card. And a card. Not sure. Who are we? To, ooh, he's got to be careful with that. Passing the ball back, hitting the player. Lucky to get off with the warning there. Knights got to keep their heads in this. They've shown a little bit of, there's been a, a couple semi opportunities here in the second half. The Methodist has slowed down the movement of the ball in particular in their own defensive third and that press has led to a couple potential opportunities. Obviously, you want to turn one of those into something, but if they can keep their heads in this, you've got to believe that there's maybe a goal in this for the Knights if they can, if they can again, keep the effort up, stay mentally sound here and not, and not make any silly mistakes. It's been a physical game, but mostly a fair and a clean one. Want to see it stay that way. Absolutely. You know, you hear it all the time. Uh, sports are... 90% physical, or uh, um, I apologize, 90% <laughs> mental, 10% physical. That's right. So when they really get in your head, they're getting into your game, and that'll affect everything uh, for the, the wrong reasons. We don't want that negative impact, especially when you're down uh, in the game. Oh, another errant pass here in the back. Methodist has been a little sloppy playing it out of the back here in the second half. But Methodist... In force here, that entire team able to <laughs> react well. All fell behind the ball, obviously. Ex just really well coached by head coach Justin Terranova. Staying really well organized, good shape, good movement. Even though I'm sure he's not happy about how that ball was played out of the back there. Got to be happy with how his team reacted as a unit, getting into defense and keeping the Knights from turning that into a counterattack. We're really seeing number nine, Sean Lady on Methodist, playing defense. His teammate's going to hop and try to help him out. And that's why you press there, too. You're trying to force the keeper, even if it's not going to turn into a scoring opportunity, you're trying to force the keeper into an errant pass that can turn into a counter, which they do. Driving that low on the ground, I'm sure his teammates there would have loved to have seen him pull that back at an angle and give them a scoring opportunity, let the Knights off the hook there a little bit. He's going to kick it up the field to his teammates, see if he can get to it. Oh, and that's going to go out of bounds for a goal kick. Just a little heavy. Making the runs, playing for each other. Just the, the, going back to what you were saying there, Rock, like the, this idea of 90% mental, 10% physical. One of the things that plays into that mental game as we move further and further into the second half, the, the more tired you get the more those tired legs turn into to a tired mind and that decision making really starts to suffer a little bit. And especially with a younger, younger team working to, working to build their maturity. So you want to see them keep their heads in this as they go. They're still, for as much as, as two nothing is frustrating, you get one goal back and it changes the whole complexion of the game. 
Knights once again having a little bit of trouble pulling that ball to the ground and getting control, but able to able to earn a throw in. They're going to get the ball and start working towards the Methodist side of the field, and they're just going to go back and kind of try to reassess after that hard pressing from the defense. Good job holding the play up that time. Nothing opened up for him, but but good job there by Samuel Ajagi. I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, good job by him not losing the ball and not putting that defense under pressure since the Knights have pushed most of their players up the field. Another foul here. As you can see, Methodist is just going to take their time. Lock here as they can. Yeah, they're in a good situation as a team. You know, you're up two points. There's 20 minutes left in the game. You know, they're really sitting comfortably here. Night pressure once again. Methodist being a little slower getting that ball off their feet. They're going to take it back to the keeper, try to work something out. They're able to find an open man and start making progress on the field. Good job by Methodist being patient, finding space. But, ooh. ooh. Solid kick hits a player. Right in the head. I don't like to see that. Yeah, hopefully he's able to get back up. Hope that he's okay. Couldn't tell if that ball was already out of play. Anytime you see a, a ball to head like that going that hard, as the weather cools down, as it is a little bit out there too, that ball gets even a little bit more solid and harder and, and it, it just has the opportunity to to really cause some pain and taking that right to the side of the head as it, saw, it's, it appeared that he did. It's good to see that he's up on his feet. It's just deceitfully strong. Now that ball will take out some teeth if you know, it's kicked hard enough. Trainer. The player gets back up. Grateful to see that. Trainers doing their due diligence over there. Hope that that's nothing, nothing to worry about. Very grateful for the medical staff that we have. For sure. Soccer is a sport, unfortunately, that, as, as, as I understand it, is the number one concussion sport in the world. And so one of those things you have to be particularly, particularly careful about. We do as much as we can to help protect these players, but regardless, easy injuries to pick up. Method is working hard to break in, and that ball's going to go up. Ooh. And a possibility of scoring, but the keeper grabs it before Methodist can do anything with it, luckily. He's going to kick it down the field. Looking to quickly counter. Justice Mack in the fray there again. Oh, between the keeper and the player. That ball is going to go out, luckily. The keeper slides and takes away that opportunity. Sean Gutzmann doing what he's been doing all game, being fearless. Attacking with aggressively, but still smart. There was the opportunity to give that up, and and especially any time anyone goes to ground, as a coach, you hold your breath a little bit. But he got the ball, disrupted the attack, and fortunately, with that ricochet, was able to turn that into a goal kick. I love to see that that confidence, especially from your keeper. You know, they they're really the last resort. Well, and Sean Gutzman is a freshman. Taking an opportunity here as as Dallin Chapel, who is normally um, who has been in, in many of the early games here for the Knights, been been uh, SVU starter, excellent early season from Dallin, but unfortunately himself took an injury and is still working his way back in. And Sean Gutzman playing a good game today. SVU is going to try to push this ball outside. Methodist is going to cross it. He's going to head it still up close near the goal. And the keeper's going to grab that. Dangerous opportunity there for, for Methodist. Once again, Hudson Zeisman put himself in a position where he maybe could have taken a shot, played unselfishly looking for the assist, as he is also very good at doing. And, uh, 
ended up pulling that opportunity back. It has to be said there, number five for Methodist, Christopher Schofer has, Schofer or Schofler, excuse me, has been just excellent today. Um, the Knights have defended him aggressively, often with two, three, or four players, and he has managed to be physical, but also to be smart and keep that ball close to his feet. His holding up play there really set up the Methodists' attacking opportunity. Aggressive foul there. It's a hard shoulder. That's over that player. Getting a little chippy here. Makes sense. We're getting late in the game. Tensions are getting high, especially for SVU. You know, they're getting frustrated, but I think they're still, still really pushing, giving that effort, not giving up. A good effort, good, good determination from both teams. SVU is going to take this ball on Methodist side. Good hold up play. Good job keeping that again, once again, in the attacking area of the field. Looking for moments like that they can build on. But as Methodist has been doing, especially in the second half, really creating some congestion there, dropping on the majority of their team, if not all but one, into their defensive third and making it really crowded giving the Knights a little bit of space on the edge, but as the Knights have been trying to pull it back in, really giving them nothing to play with. SVU is going to take the throw in. You see, I think really what they've been doing good is the last few feet, like you've been saying. You know, that's really one of the more important things that you can do, sharing the ball, not being selfish, and then hopefully not rushing the play as well. Yeah, there's that, that trying to find that balance of you really want to play quick. And really the only way to sort of counteract that kind of defensive congestion and organization that, that Methodist is giving the Knights is playing really quick. And sometimes, especially when you're tired, as they must be by this point of the game, instead of being quick, you just get a little bit rushed. And there's a big difference between those two things. When you start to rush the play, passes get sloppy, and and you easily turn it over, and, and that can lead to counterattacking opportunities for the other team. So you want to see aggression, but you also want to see that smart, clean quickness. Absolutely. You know, the quickness is definitely a key part, especially in the game of soccer. Got to have that quick feet, try to react. That's the reason why... At least one of these goals was scored. You could, you know, the quick reactions playing off the ball and being able to read it. It's very, that's what makes a dominant player. That's right. And it's being smart about that speed. Remember, I think it was Alexi Lawless who used to always say, speed kills. You know, you get these really fast soccer players who can get up and down the field really well. But sometimes if it's just sort of mindless speed and it ends, to, ends up losing the ball without the rest of your team up the field, it can turn into just counterattacking opportunities for, for the opposition. Neither of these teams have played with that reckless speed. They're both trying to be really intelligent about their pressure and, uh, and, and, and allow that to turn into useful plays. Methodist just showing their experience and being able to be slightly more effective with that. And there once again, Christopher Schofler there with the ball, finding opportunities to, to dish it and then put him into space where he can receive it again and then forces a foul. Number two, Dallin Miller is going to come in quite aggressively. You know, it's like you said, he forced the foul. That was a good play by the offense. Yeah, really, Christopher Schofler has been one of Methodist's top players this entire game. You can see he's a little slow to get up, walking a little gingerly. He's got to be feeling, feeling this one. Dangerous position here. This is the kind of free kick that can maybe lead to a, an actual shot on goal. Knights are going to have to be careful. Very possible opportunity. And he's going to go on. He's going to block it. He's going to head towards the sideline. Method is going to try to keep the ball in bounds, but SVU is going to push it out. Gave up that corner, but what a save there from Sean Gutzman. That was a hard free kick to right over the 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 other side of the wall from where he was standing. It was his near post, and as a keeper, you want to make sure you, you keep that near post safe. 
but the way he had to lay out for that one, that was no no easy feat. So that's a great job there. Once again from Sean Gutzman, keeping the score manageable here. Any swinging left-footed corner coming in. Method is going to head it, but one of the defenders is going to kick it out. Good job good there defensive from play. Yeah, good job from SVU there, stepping up to that ball, having defenders all in the right places, covering the the spots there next to the keeper. Once again, giving up a giving up a corner. Methodist not sending all their players up, not looking to crowd the box here, keeping their players back in a position where if SVU is able to make a counter, they should be in good defensive positions. Ooh, he's kicking up near the eyes, just misses. No foul called. Interesting no call there. You can try to cross it and it'll be blocked by another defender. Justice Mack once again in a position to do some, to get that ball out of there. SVU is going to start working up towards the Methodist University territory. They're making some real progress. Oof. I think the ball will be kicked out of bounds and Methodist is going to take the throw in. Unable to connect on that overlap. That's been a consistent issue. Good weighted pass there from Methodist. Way to find that corner. Knights forced to defend. Methodist playing patiently, moving the ball around as they have been. And I believe that'll be another goal kick. This is kicked out of bounds for another shot. A little bit of a rush shot there. Have to say there, meant to say this a moment ago. Um, once again, Tanner Gonder came all the way back on the football field lines there to like the 20 yard line to try to collect that ball and send it back the other direction. And uh, just showing a phenomenal amount of effort this whole game up and down and up and down the field. Sometimes you like to see that as a defender. You like to see your, atta your attackers willing to, to help out on defense. Sometimes as a coach you worry about what that'll do to fatigue your attackers. Um, as an attacker it's easier to get, get a little bit impatient and uh, try to come back and work the ball up the field a little bit more. And, and you want to make sure you don't wear yourself out even further by making those long runs. Methodist is going to have a good attempt on this, but a sliding block. Good hustle there on the defense once again. There we go. And the team set up as they prepare for the corner kick. Methodist getting a lot of corner kicks here in the last few minutes. Not giving up anything for free. That's for sure. Even fewer players up this time, looks like, for Methodist. Looking for that in-swinger. Methodist That's really trying hard on offense. They have 11 total shots. Trying for the near post there once again. Knight's doing a better job keeping it out. Ooh. That'll be a foul. Yeah, good call there by the ref. Still getting handsy over there on defense. I do like the aggressiveness, but, you know, it comes down to execution. Oh, and that was a, a tired foul, playing the player and not the ball. Oh, once again, what a job keeping that ball close to his feet. Stellar play there. I believe that once again is Christopher Sofler. Now maybe with the chance to swing at this. Easy touches. Fun player to watch. He's really had a great game today. So he's going to kick it out of their own territory. Methodist is going to take the ball back and start working up. And they're actually going to bring it back a little bit, try to reassess as they have number 13, Tanner Gonder, pressing pretty hard. Good effort there. Uh, still unable to turn this into possession. Oop. Methodist is going to take this. Running through the ball. About a two on three matchup. Once again, taking their time. Good steal there. Just want to want to turn those into some actual offense and not get impatient. There are still 10 minutes left. Easy to get discouraged. Way to pick out a pass there from distance. Oh. Great job. The keeper's going to oh. come out and take the ball away from Southern Virginia University. That was a possible, a possible 
opportunity there to score and get their first point up on the board. Good effort there. Not quite able to, to uh, get onto the ball. Some last ditch defending, which looks like may have led to a bit of an injury. Really had to extend there to sort of force that heavy touch. Good effort there from Methodist. See a lot of players hunched over with their hands on their legs. They're all, there's been a lot of running around, a lot of effort. Both teams really given all they've got. They're not giving the other any slack. And you love to see that as a coach, as a player, as a spectator. It's all around, it's fun to watch. Uh, unfortunately, there has been a lot of physical play, which, which is bad in a sense. You know, it's, it's yeah. good to be aggressive, but there is a point where you have to give in a little bit. Well, you want to see your players, as they say, get stuck in, play with, with heart, play with effort, play, play physically and not give the other teams a lot of space. But you want to make sure that that stays, that that actually ends up being useful, that that turns into pos possession and scoring opportunities and good passes and, uh, and doesn't lead to a lot of fouls. Once again, I thought he's going to take the ball in. They're going to oh, kick it. Oh, what a It'll save. Be blocked. That was a great defensive play by the keeper. I believe that was Hudson Zeisman once again making an excellent run to the byline and then the way he pulled that ball back right to feet. That is how goals are scored. So for, I believe, is that is that Spencer Young now in there playing goalie? Looks like Sean Gutzman was, was subbed out. Don't know if there was an injury there. I believe that's Dallin Chapel. Is that Dallin? Ooh, Knights almost able to come up with a scoring opportunity there. And they're able to pull a, to get a corner, pulling the goalie up. Is he actually going to participate in this corner, or is he sending him to midfield so he can send it back in? Looks like that's Coach Pemberton's strategy here. Makes you wonder if Dallin's still trying to shake that injury off. He is wearing the, yeah, the number one there, Spencer Young. Going back post, great ball, great positioning. Wasn't quite able to get his head over that to send it back towards the goal. Scoring, uh, potential scoring opportunity. Unfortunately, not, not able to produce a shot on goal there. You just got to follow through, just finish the execution. Some good opportunities, just the ending. Always a challenge as a player when that header is coming up over your head and you have to back up to it and you kind of hit that ball from your head while you're falling backwards when you're trying to direct it back towards the goal. Always going to be a challenge. We had a good effort there, but, but hard to put that on frame. Once again, that ball spending more time in the air than maybe they want it to. That was an opportunity to put it on, on the ground, turn it into a good pass. Good job earning some possession here, working it, working it out of some pressure, finding feet. Has a couple runs to choose. Frustrating to lose that ball there, but good hustle coming back to try to win it back. That's excellent trailing back there. Of course, didn't want to lose that ball, but there I believe that was Alexander Berry once again who has put in a good, a good shift today, as they say sprinting up and down the field. Frustrating to lose that ball, but a lot of players would be tempted to throw their arms in the air and let that ball come back towards their teammates, but he didn't do that. He hustled back to try to win it back, and as a coach, regardless of the score line, that kind of effort means a lot, and that's something you can really build on. SV's gonna kick the ball up field, try to make something happen. Tanner. Method is playing some day. good defense. Yes, they are. Find, there's some space open for them. Knight's trying to shift over and cover it. Did a good job of slowing that, the ball's movement there through the middle to be able to set up here. But look at that pace. Excellent pace. Good job away. by Justice Mack once again. Tracking his runner. He's been running all game too. Still showing that he has the athleticism to get back. Methodist is going to try to kick the ball up. I think SVU is just going to take this one, try to relax a little bit. Like Coach Terranova there for the, 
for Methodist telling his players they don't need to send those long balls up. They should do a little bit, keep more possession. Knights forcing some, some clearances and such here can turn into possession in the attacking third. Less than five minutes left here, but if they could pull one back, make, make for a really interesting last few minutes of this game. SVU taking the ball up close near the goal and the shot is taken and missed. Had a few players up there, not sure he had to snatch at that, but definitely trying to look for opportunities. And, and, and they haven't had as many as Methodists and you want to see good opportunities. Sometimes if you're forcing it a little bit, trying to create a spark for your team, when you see that you have some attackers up there, sometimes it's a little bit of a better choice to to try to feed them, and but that being said, if that would have been on frame, could have ended up being a ricochet or something and led to an opportunity, so. Methodist is gonna pass the ball up forward, try to get another scoring opportunity, and Good SVU job. will kick that out of bounds, giving up a, another corner kick, but it's better than giving up a goal. Kether Fuana Seth, again, hopefully, hope, hopefully saying that, that name correctly, has had a, a great game today. It looks like we have an injury, is that? Is that Kether? That's unfortunate. He's had a fantastic game today. In terms of offensive prowess, he's been a he's been an excellent player for for Methodist. I believe came into this game uh, leading in goals. Um, I believe he was one of their. He at least set up a goal. Um, didn't get the assist per se, but his athleticism is what led to that second goal in the first half almost was able to turn and set up another scoring opportunity there. Justice Mack did a great job of, of trailing back with his runner and, and clearing it out for a corner. And it looks like that maybe on that follow through there that that um, that Kether Fuana Seth ran into the into the post. Maybe hurt his ankle. Can go through the group. Kick is taken, but it's no good. It's kicked out of bounds. Keeper fortunate there. Spencer Young fortunate. Went to ground early. Fortunate that that ball fell to his feet and was able to clear it out. Another dangerous opportunity for Methodist. We're going to get set up for the corner kick. time once again as these seconds tick away. Yeah, cross it. In singers, in swinger, but Spencer Young takes good command of his box. Punches that ball clear. It'll be a throw in for Methodist. Try to work inside the SVU zone. He's gonna start try to get that footwork in. A little impatient there on defense for trying to run over the player and that can be dangerous sometimes. Good job there that time, turning it into offense. Player on method is not getting up. SVU's gonna take the ball anyway and start moving up field there at about midfield. Good pace here from Dallin Miller, trying to run at the player. Just a little heavy there, not able to show quite the level of control he wanted to see there. Gotta be careful there, snatching at the back of his legs. There's another foul. That's just frustration there from, from Samuel Jaggi once again. Lost the ball. Sometimes that reaction can, can get you into a little bit of trouble. Methodist player here who was injured, unable to see that number. Is that, is that once again Christopher Schoeffler over there? Just had a killer game. Still on the ground. I'm not sure if the ref sees it. Okay, looks like the ref sees it now. If anyone has earned a rest in this game, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's Christopher Schoeffler limping off the field a little bit there. He's had a fantastic game. Oh, absolutely. He's been running up and down the field nonstop. He's and really the player to watch. Yeah, speaking of up and down nonstop, Tanner. Looks like Tanner Gonder there subbed off. It's just been a work workhorse out there for the Knights. Hard to create opportunities sometimes when you get isolated up there as much as he has, but... Such wonderful effort today, trying to set up an opportunity, or opportunities. They can get some control here. About a minute and a half left in this game. 
Justice looking direct as he has been. Haven't said his name much, but we should. Colton Omen, who's one that Coach Pemberton gave a shout out to before the game as being just a key leader for this team, has also given just max effort there in the midfield, trying to trying to turn some defense into offense and then also having to play a lot of defense himself. Has really done a good job playing in really tight spaces. Justice giving up the ball there, good effort tracking back. Got three against two here for Methodist, but good job there by that, that Luke Hemingway who, is, who has played a good game there at center back. Good job hustling back and, and stopping uh, stopping the overload. Methodist could have had an opportunity there. Wonder here now if Methodist is going to start just trying to play towards the corner flag and kill this game off in the last few seconds. Just going to pass the ball in. Yeah, play into the corner. Not able to turn. Guess he's just going to kick this out. About 15 seconds left. Cheeky little back heel there. Effort there. There it is, the end of the game. The Monarchs end up taking this game 2-0 to zero from SVU. Good effort from both sides. You like to see them running around, really giving everything they have to the last second. Uh, Mo Monarchs, Methodist University here, just a, a very good, well-organized, well-coached team, w able to turn that dominance in the scoreline there from the first half into a 2 nothing win. Knights really gave tons of effort. Coach Pemberton has to be pleased by that, lots to build on. Unfortunate scoreline, but this young, talented team have to see some good upside there and see where they go in the future. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, uh, and follow SVU Broadcasting for more sports. And we'll end on that. So you fans have a good night.